Anthony here at the Welcome to Las Vegas sign being joined by the always beautiful and always lovely, the one and only Miss Rachel Ostovich. Always great to see you and especially back at Las Vegas. Thanks for having me. And you're always beautiful. Like, dang, girl. <laughs> oh, look at your outfit. I love it. I gotta have it. <laughs> you can have it. It was cheap. It was just like 30 bucks. <laughs> oh, hey, I, I love bargain shopping, yes, too. Me too. <laughs> yes. Well, what, first off, what brings you back here to Las Vegas? Um, so I think back when we had our last interview, we talked yes. about Chi Chi Beauty. So... I came back to go check on my, my products and see how everything's going in the factory and all of that. So, business. Yes, absolutely. And I was about to bring that up. Congratulations on the success with Chi Chi Beauty. How's that been? And for your fans, like, where can they go and purchase your Chi Chi Beauty products? So it's been going really great, actually. Um, it's been in the works for over a year. Yeah. So I'm finally, I finally got to launch it on the site last month and you know i have a lot of support so happy i had something for the ladies so um you can actually find it on chichi oh chichis.com or you can go on chichi beauty official on instagram and click on the link in the bio hey i've been checking out the instagram as well i love the products and the variety of colors yeah me too um i think that was important to me i'm like a lip gloss lip balm lip anything fan so um with the pandemic we always have to wear masks so I thought I felt like a, a lip balm would be perfect. Yeah, yes, definitely. And how's your daughter? Because I saw she went viral on TikTok. Oh, wow. <laughs> she did. She really did. She always asked mom, "Can I make a YouTube? Can I get my own Instagram?" I'm like, "Girl, hold up. You're like eight. Like, chill. You can you can post on mine if you want to." So, anyways, I kind of gave up on TikTok. I forgot I even had. The, I forgot I even had the app. People would be crazy over here. People just oh driving gosh. by. But anyways, she got on my app and yeah. one morning I was sleeping and she got on it and yeah. made this crazy video. And everyone was messaging me the, the next day like, Rach, do you know your daughter has 1.8 million views on TikTok? I'm like, what TikTok? I look and I'm like, wow, this girl's making me TikTok famous, <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> and it's like the craziest things happen when they just kind of take your phone and you don't know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, I, I changed my passcode, but this girl, I think she's so smart. She looked, she actually changed the face ID to her face. Why is she ahead of her time? She's so ahead. It's just crazy. I can't even with this girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I know all your fans, they miss seeing you. What's kind of your plans and some of your goals for 2021? So definitely was launching the Chi Chi Beauty. I wanted to get my business right because sometimes the finances wasn't always the best, but you know, it's good now. Um, back to fighting. Um, I guess I can say I'm gonna sign a contract really soon. Yeah, like I just got it today, so. Oh, congratulations. Uh, yeah. so, I mean, I, I don't know, I can't really say anything right now, but um, I'm sure you'll definitely be hearing soon. I think I'm, you're the first person I'm talking to about it, so. Yeah, so it should be big, it should be good. Are you allowed to say which promotion or how many fights that you have on it? Um, I don't think I'll say that yet, just yet before I get busted, okay. um, but it's a well-known promotion with a, another well-known fighter, um, and y'all's gonna love it. Awesome, well, we can't wait to stay tuned. And speaking of fights, last time I also mentioned to you, you were on the Ultimate Fighter season 26. They recently announced the new coaches for this upcoming season, Alex Volkanovsky versus Brian Ortega. Just curious to kind of get your thoughts now that they officially announced the new coaches. I mean, that that sounds like an amazing matchup. Both, both amazing fighters, that's, you know, I'm excited to watch that. I was happy to be a part of it myself. So um, good luck to everybody who's drafted in there. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And a couple big fights coming up this weekend in the UFC, a rematch between Kamaru Usman and Jorge Masvidal. How do you see that rematch playing out? Oh, I mean, I guess the last time they fought was very short notice for Jorge, right? So I'm super interested to see how um, it's going to turn out now that he has like a full training camp. and. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be exciting either way. I just came from Miami, so Jorge was out there too, so it was pretty cool. Did you happen to run into him or anything? 
no, um, I didn't want to mess with that. Uh, he's fighting next to me. I was like, yeah. focus on camp. And there's also another big flyweight title fight, Valentina versus Jessica Andrade. Do you think that Valentina will retain her title? I think so. Yeah. I think so. I just want to thank everybody for still wanting to see me succeed in life. Um, not everybody, but that's okay. Um, thank you. I will be fighting soon. There's lots of things coming up, so I'm super excited for 2021. It's been great so far. Thank God.